All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to stand up a Postgres database uh, on an RDS instance in AWS. So uh, I'm just going to go in the console, just search for RDS. So RDS is how uh, you, you can deploy databases in Amazon, uh, you, you know, relational databases. So if you go to DB instances here, you see I have one database running called Fran database one. I'm going to create a new one and standard and for this video I'm going to use Postgres because um, that's what I'm familiar with and um, uh, they have some nice extensions for geospatial type of work so I'm going to pick Postgres and keep the version as the default one that was selected and for templates I'm going to make sure to click dev test actually we can do free tier. I think last time I did dev test but let's do free tier here that'll keep it uh, free or cheap and I'm going to call it Fran Database 2. And master username, I'm just going to leave that as default and then just give it a password. And then T2 Micro, that's what we want. That's the cheapest one. And this is all good. Yep. Let's leave this all default password authentication that's what we want and then just click create database all right so this this process is probably going to take um, five or ten minutes so I think I'll pause the video here and then once this is finished uh, creating we're going to download something called PG admin uh, so actually while this is creating we can we can download that um, I actually already have it on this this machine. I think I was sh showing you guys earlier um, when I was sh in the first video when I was demonstrating the database here. Um, so what you need to do is basically just Google PG Admin and then go to download and download it for whatever um, whatever you're on. I'm on Windows in this case, so, so I selected Windows. And I just got the the most recent version, so you just click that, and then um, I'm on a, a 64-bit machine, so I, I clicked on this one. Uh, that's probably what you are on too, so you would just click that, and then it, it starts a download. And I'm going to cancel this because I already have it, but um, you just run the installer, and then and then PG Admin starts up this um, in the browser here, and then. What we're going to do once this RDS instance is up and running, see it's still creating, but once it's up and running, we're going to just go to server here and create, and we're basically just going to connect to that server here. Uh, and then from there, we're, we're going to make a new table and um, install PostGIS. Uh, yeah, so yeah, let me just pause the video and um, we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, so now that we uh, now you can see that our, our database is available, uh, what we're going to do is click on it, and then we need to get the endpoint. So just copy and paste this. So we're going to go back to PG Admin and then create a server. And I'm just going to call this Fran DB2 and then go to the connection page and this is where you paste in the host. This is the default port so leave that the same. Just type in your password here. I'm going to save mine and then just save. And if everything goes well it should connect. Um, you know what I think we might need to on our RDS here. We might need to um, change the role or, or open some ports basically. Um, yeah, where was this? Just give me a second here.
Oh, it's probably in the security. Okay, so this security group, we need to click on this. And if you see the inbound rules here, or Inbound or outbound? Oh, you know what it is? Ah, sorry, there's another setting that basically makes the RDS public. I forgot about that. So right now we can we can only access our database within like AWS's environment, but here, see this public accessibility? We need to change that. Um, so now the question is how we do that. I think it's in, uh, I think here, modify. So if we go to where is it? Here it is. Public accessibility. Click yes. And then continue and modify. Alright, so I'm just going to double check this connectivity and security because it, it possibly could have changed this because I thought I remember I had to change this, but maybe not. So let's try, let's just go ahead and try it again in PG Admin. All right, let me pause this and figure this out. I, I remember it had to do something with these, so just give me a sec. All right, guys, so I was able to figure it out. Uh, it had to do with the default security group that was on the RDS. Uh, I just had to edit the inbound rules and include my IP address. So if you go to edit inbound rules, um, you'll see here for, five, for port 5432, I just gave it uh, my IP address here and it, it seemed to work. So um, now when I go to PG Admin, you can see here that I'm connected to that database. Um, and we want to connect to the Fran DB2 because that's the newest one I created. And you see here that we have this Postgres. So what we're going to need to do is create a schema. And I'm going to call this um, YouTube test. Okay, so now we have YouTube test. Actually, Ignore this YouTube test. I'm going to get rid of that. I just looked at how I had it configured on my other database, and I was using this public schema. So if we go into here and go to tables, you see that we don't have any tables inserted. So so now we, we just have a, a blank database. Um, so we need to insert a table. So if I go to the query tool here, this is going to allow us to basically write SQL code or SQL um, statements. Um, so we're going to use this create table here. Um, I found this on the internet and actually let me I'll copy this and take note of it so you guys can use it too. We're just going to use this as a sample. 
and I'm going to change the name of this to um, YouTube demo. And these are basically what what the fields are. So we don't want username or password. What we actually want is lat and long. Uh, we don't need that to be unique. Uh, we don't need these. And I'm actually going to real quick go over to my other database and see what what fields I had there. So I had ID, name, ID, name, lat, long, image, date. And then geometry, we're gonna we're gonna do that later once we get post GIS installed. So we'll hold off on that. Um, I just want to check to see if this was a okay. Make that a little bit longer. And what else is it gonna check? We don't need that to be unique either. All right. So if we create this table, syntax error, probably don't need this. I think we need. All right, there we go. So let me copy this for you guys. All right. So I'm going to refresh our um Where to go? Join imagery. Oh no, we're in this Postgres database. Oh no, sorry, wrong database. <laughs> now if we refresh this, we should see some YouTube demo table and then there's all the columns. Okay, so now let's just um, select all from YouTube demo and we should get nothing back. Okay. So why don't we go ahead and try to actually insert um, something into this table here. So I'm actually going to go back to my Python code and just take advantage of this code that I have here. So I'm actually going to use this and I need to update this with the newest instance date or not the newest instance date but the new, the new instance name here. So, I'm just going to grab that endpoint. So, this is the same endpoint that you put in for PG Admin. And I'm going to paste it in here. Why didn't it like that? Paste. database is called I think YouTube something YouTube demo or no Fran DB right um, drone imagery Yeah, so in this case we call it Postgres. Right, Postgres. OK. 
Okay. Um, and we want to insert into this is what YouTube demo. All right. Name, lat long, image date, and I'm going to actually copy this, comment this one out, and I'm going to get rid of the geometry for now. Because we don't need that right right now. Okay. So we also don't need the last two these inputs here. So right now we're just going to insert name, lat, long, image, date. So there should be four inputs. So one, two, three, four. All right. And I'm just going to test this. So I'm not actually going to execute the Lambda stuff yet. I'm just going to insert data from our local machine here. And I know I have to change this because we had a variable here. So. Let's call that test. And now let's actually call the function. Uh, okay. All right, let's give this a whirl and see. Oh, same issue I ran into earlier. Uh, we need to make a temp folder and just move all this stuff. into there. Okay. Now let's try it. Okay, cool. So you see inserted one row into YouTube demo and these are the values and it inserted successfully. So if we go back to PG admin, we should see one record in there. Cool. Okay, so we, we added a row, so we're almost there. We just need to do one more step, and that is install PostGIS, and that's going to let us add that uh, that fifth column, which has the, the actual spatial geometry in it. So uh, I think we'll do that in the next video because this video is almost 20 minutes long. So uh, thanks again for watching, and we should finish this up in, in a, another video or two.